Audible.com is the internet's leading provider of spoken audio entertainment. Content from Audible is downloaded and played back on personal computers, CDs, iPods, your iPhone. Listen whenever and wherever you want. Audible has over 100,000 titles to choose from, every genre, so fiction, nonfiction, health, fitness, you know, whatever you're into, they've definitely got the book. Audible has it covered. Your choice. Go to audiblepodcast.com slash yogamazing and pick up the book of your choice. Welcome everyone to this edition of the Yoga Amazing Video Podcast. I'm Chaz, I'm your host, and welcome back. Now this week I've had a lot of people say, Chaz, I've eaten so much food, I need to lose some weight, I need to get my metabolism up so I can burn these calories. Well, that's what we're going to focus on today, is a series of poses that are going to boost our metabolism so that we can burn the calorie from all the food that we've eaten. Now this can be something that you do anytime uh, you know, throughout the year. It's, it's not in any certain part of the year. If you just want to boost your metabolism so that you can get those calories burning uh, and get your body, get your, get your body metabolism moving, your digestive system moving, this is the sequence to do. And, you know, remember that as you're doing this to just breathe and, and, and go through the sequence. And also that if you want to do these poses on your own, you can do a longer version of it, a shorter version of it. It's, it's up to you. That's, that's why I create these classes so that you can find your own way and your own path. So if you have an idea for an episode, please send it to me, chaz at yogamazing.com. Of course, you can find me on Facebook, YouTube, and in Twitter. And if you really want to rev up your metabolism, go to highyoga.com and download that class, and that's going to get you sweating and burning some serious calories in a very small amount of time. Or if you'd like to check out the Yoga Amazing archive at Yoga Amazing 24-7 on the yogamazing.com website, check that out because it's the only place you can get them in full HD with no advertising and no intros like this. So... With all that being said, remember as we go through today's class to breathe, relax, and have fun in this edition of the Yoga Amazing video podcast. Okay, today we're going to start in mountain position because we're going to start on our feet doing some standing poses. But to, to begin with, we want to focus on our breathing so we become present in the moment. So bring your hands to the chest, bring it into the dasana, the mountain pose. Remember to flatten your feet, firmly grounding into your mat. Remember lift your toes, spread your toes, root your toes so you're... Uh, rooting in through your big toe, little toe, inner heel, outer heel. Draw your navel in, rooting through the feet. Hug the muscles to the bone, shoulder blades down the back. Draw the navel in, just stay here and breathe for a few moments. Remember, inhaling through the nose, hollow the throat, expanding the chest and lungs, deep in the breath. eyes. First pose we're going to do is a seated fierce pose with a twist. So we're going to bring it up. Now remember when you're doing the ukatasana or the fierce pose you're, you're extending through the arms and you're sitting so you're trying to sit you're trying to stand you get stuck in the middle. So stay here and breathe deep in the breath. And then twist. Bring one arm to the floor, one arm up, looking up. If you can't look up, look down. Whatever works good for you. Breathe. Bring it up, releasing. We're doing two each side and rotate to the other side. Remember to look up or you can look down. Remember to deepen the breath. Hang out with your, your pose. Breathe, releasing up, coming up to mountain. Stay here for a few breaths. Releasing up, sitting into fierce pose, and twist. Breathe. Release, up, twist. Breathe. Release. Mountain. Stay here and breathe. Come to the front of your mat. 
you're going to bring the arms up. Then you're going to take your leg back into a lunge, dropping your knee first, rooting the hips down, get a nice big hip opener here. This allows you to get deeper in the pose. Then we're going to take it into a deep standing lunge, open it up even more. And now lift it up and breathe. And bring it back to mountain. Breathe. Arms up, back, knee down. Get a deep lunge. We're really working on our quads here. The biggest muscles we have in our body. We get those muscles moving. We're going to really burn some calories because those muscles need a lot of energy. And bring it up. Bring it back to mountain. Now we're gonna be doing one more of those, but this time we're gonna take it back just into a lunge. Up and lunge. Keep the arms up, back lunge. Bring it forward to Mountain Tadasana. Stay here and breathe. Next, we'll be doing Eagle Pose. Now, if you can do the full version of Eagle Pose, by all means do it. I'm just gonna go into the simpler version. So from here, I'm gonna cross my arms right over left, and I'll sit deep. Bring my palms together, then I'm going to cross my leg over. Then I'm going to get my balance, a little bit trickier on balance, and then I'm going to straighten my spine and sit deeper. Release. Let's bring it to the other side, left over the right. And if you can go again into the full version of this, by all means, or you can do the simplified version like I'm doing right now. Cross your leg over, then you're going to sit deep and then straighten your spine, deepen the breath. And release. Come to the front of the mat, arms up. Take it down, fingertips to the floor. Walk it back to a down dog, just for a moment. And upper push up, take it to the floor for locust. So from here, big inhale. And as you exhale, lift the arms, lift the leg, lift the chest. We're doing two of these. And release down. Turn your head, palms up. Chin to the floor. Inhale. And as you exhale, bring it up. Release. Chin to the floor. Bend your knees, grab your feet for the bow. If you're unable to grab your feet in the bow, just Take your arms here or grab a belt, whichever way works for you. Inhale, and as you exhale, kick your legs back, lift up your thighs off the floor, breathe. Release. Turn your head, palms up. One more. Bend your knees, grab your feet, grab a belt, however you can do it. Inhale, and as you exhale, kick your legs back, lift the thighs up off the floor, deepen the breath, roll the heart open. And release. 
Stretch out your back, go to child's pose. And from here, let's bring it up. Now, we're gonna take it up and back into a shoulder stand. So you can, however you wanna get up there, I like rolling my shoulder stands back and up, and we wanna work on getting our legs up straight up now if you're unable to do a shoulder stand just take your nudge your butt up against the wall and do legs up the wall if you're unable to do a shoulder stand just do that instead so here we go and i'm going to take it back take it up tuck, tuck your shoulder blades and then bring it up And slowly release, bring it down. And from here, as you come down, make a diamond under your bottom with your index fingers and thumbs touching, tucking your shoulder blades under. We're gonna take it into Matsyasana, the fish pose, elbows down. And you're gonna lift into the heart, dropping the head back. Lifting into the heart, breathe. and release from here let's bring it into the bridge pose we're doing two versions of this full bridge lift the hips up tuck your shoulder blades knees forward lengthening your neck breathe down vertebrae by vertebrae this time half bridge arms to your side palms down inhale and exhale lift it up deep in the breath together squeeze it in big hug and arms to a T leg to the right look to the left and roll it over to the other side back to the center one more big hug squeeze it in and then stretch it on the floor for Shavasana the resting pose and remember that you can do this sequence you can add to it do the poses several times if you like. Whatever works best for you to boost your metabolism. Now remember to take these next few minutes and just to soak it all in. And just let go. And let the beauty of yoga do what it does to you on a molecular, on a molecular level. All the way down to every little cell in your body. It connects with you and your body. Relax and let go.
take the peace and the strength and share it. Namaste. Namaste.